So today we're going to read Making Monster Soup, written and illustrated by Beth Cusack. You can find that on Amazon. To the families who create fun in the kitchen, to those who avoid the kitchen, and to the children who resist following recipes. When the day is dark and dreary, and your toys are dull and weary. Ask your grown-ups with a please, and then if everyone agrees, utter thanks and give a whoop to start making monster soup. Spread out the sheets of old newspaper that will hold this messy caper. Find a spoon that's big and stirry Soon you'll be ready in a flurry. Here's a bowl that's big enough. Now let's look for old foodstuffs. Take a peek inside the bin. Open up the biscuit tin. Smell the spice. Feel the rice. See how the colors swirl and mix. Listen to the spoon. Do tricks. Pepper makes your nose go sneezy. Water separates from the greasy. Clumpy flour and musty teas. Salt, paprika, and dried peas. Drops of color. One, two, three. Different liquids. What do you see? Take a spoon or grab a scoop. Plop a glob of greenish gloop. Ooh, the slippery and the slimy with the basil and the thymy. Mix it up in your own way. Now you are a bold gourmet. That may be my favorite. When the blending is complete, make the kitchen clean and neat. That one bowl appears so fine, monsters keenly wait to dine. Wash the rest, soapy bubbles. Rinse away the goo, no troubles. Is this trash? No. You may choose to recycle or reuse. Put each tool into its place. Then you leave the room with grace. Monsters come into the kitchen, hopping, smiling, and scritching. Yeah, the scritching is the best. That's really good. Chewing quietly, each small bite, using manners most polite. When the feasting is all done, they'll know you're the finest one. Really enjoying that. And your final kitchen goal is to scrub that dirty bowl. The end. So that was Making Monster Soup. You can get it on Amazon, and it's also available on Kindle Unlimited from time to time. Obviously, I think it's a great book. 